cool kids how you doing I just want to show you this cool kids it's a sweet kick starter for you to explore cool kid all right cool kids check it out uh so we got this uh kickstarter we're unlocking stuff waves and uh dailies and all this great stuff um so uh what is the kickstarter well it's uh game start sanctuary dungeon tiles very fun, very exciting, very premier. Welcome to this. It's a it's a setting for RPG fantasy. Um, it comes with tiles. It comes with the books. It comes with here's the minis. It comes with the minis. Everything you need. Um, even the little uh, these are cool. These bases you can put status effects and such on them. Uh, if you want to check these out on my uh, channel, I have a, um, a list, a playlist called Game Start Games. Uh, check out the one where I talk about the uh, their latest Kickstarter. Um, they've always delivered, I can say that. Um, solid, solid company as far as getting their stuff out. Um, yeah, you got whole world with maps and everything if you're playing 5e Dungeons and Dragons. Um, very good. There's people there, and you know, if you want to know about the campaign setting, get in on that. But you also have other options. You can just get the minis. You can just get the um, the cool, sweet uh, books, or you can just get the um, tiles. Uh, if you're wanting just the tiles, here's the mini. Here's how the minis work. They go in there, and boom, boom, boom. Yep. There's the tiles. They got uh, these 3D tiles. Uh, well, I mean, they're really 2D kind of puzzle tiles, but they're quick, and they've got stuff that doesn't isn't 3D or well, 2D puzzle uh, style uh, standy stuff. They got um, they got stuff that just sits out too, and you can dry erase on it. Um, you can use their minis or your minis or whatever. And it uh, looks like, um, if you want to get real squirrely, they got a full setup here. Um, you know, if you want to preset that up before the game starts, and you can put little, uh, you know, obscuring uh, paper over the top so you can't see it till you get there. Um, I don't generally play that way. I prefer just the tiles myself, but they sell those too. So they got it all. Now they got different uh, pledges here. You can get the I Want Everything pledge for about $247 plus shipping. Um, I don't need any of that because I already have the miniatures. So I, I didn't do that pledge personally. Um, there's this one, which is the tile, Tales and the Miniatures only. And then the, I did this one, the Tales and the Dungeon only. So, yep. And if you just want the Tales, you know, you can just do that if you just want the book. So they got a little bit of everything. They have add-ons you can add, the Dracolich, the um, conditions and spell markers. Now, I might buy that, because I, I got one set of these, but I wouldn't mind having another set. Um, the Game Master screen, game book, you know, all this stuff. It's all here. Ooh, a hardcover limited edition special, if you're really in love with it. Um, you get 220 miniatures in the mini box. I already have the miniatures. I bought those when they first kickstarted. This is the second time. They already have these. So you don't have to worry about these being made. They're already made. Well, not made, but they have. The, they already have the die or the cast, the molds. That's the word I'm looking for. 
Um, this I don't have, but I have all their other sets. So, um, I got all their other sets. The town, and there's a town, and, uh, I did a video about it. Check out my videos. I got, uh, but this all looks cool, right? Look at this. Little accoutrements. Uh, these are 2D standees, looks like, but very cool. Very cool. And maybe some markers they're adding in. That's cool. The Dracolich is a big old mini, big old honker. If you need uh, another Dracolich, I don't. I have plenty of Dracoliches. I don't need one. Um, here's the books. Uh, and like I said, I might actually get this as an add on. Uh, my air shields don't work, they were busted, like I was saying in that last video but uh yeah this is a torch i was wondering what that was so that's cool i can actually look at this and know what this, this stuff does <laughs> i might need to make a copy of this so i know <laughs> yeah but you see what the the little and those hook into the bases guys they hook into the bases so that's pretty cool here's the team and there's the stuff they've added. They've added digital PDFs to add to your game. Um, they added some stickers, equipment sheets, all this stuff. They have some of these in their other sets, so I don't know if it's new ones or not. But these are digital PDFs. Uh, I don't know what Wave 2 means. Uh, but so these are just things being added maybe it's not real clear to me what all this is stuff being added to the Kickstarter I have so many digital PDFs I never use guys if you ever I don't even know how to access these things I get them on all these Kickstarters oh there's a book of traps that's cool um, hardcover book if you want that and there's more coming. Uh, I don't see any like actual um, stretch goals, so maybe that's why the campaign's not quite as big as you would expect. They do deliver though, and uh, that is always cool. So yeah, game start. Go check these guys out. These are uh, there's a mirror image right here. This is really neat. If you want to see this in action, I did a four video series on these things. So I really get in depth, show you pretty much everything they got. Um, the miniatures were much better than I expected. That's what I'll say about it. Um, the tiles, they're great. I use them all the time. They work. They're great. Um, they even have sci-fi tiles available if you, you know, if they ever bring them back out. I know that when I got the box, one of my one was damaged because the box weighed over 100 pounds. They put everything I ordered in one box, and it was so heavy. The mailman or whoever, the delivery guy, just threw it on the ground, I think. <laughs> yeah, it hurt my back getting it. I'll tell you, it was heavy as hell. I think it was over 100 pounds, yeah. Um, anyway, one of the boxes was damaged, but nothing inside the box was damaged, so I didn't bother contacting them because I just taped the corner of the box that was damaged and all as well. It's, I mean, it's for tiles. If it was something fancy, yeah, I might have complained, but what are you going to do? So anyway, we're well over the uh, initial. They wanted uh, 20000 We're at 100000 Uh This stuff scales, though, with the number of backers. We're at 569 be cool if that went to you know seven eight hundred before this was over i honestly think these guys should have two three thousand backers they always deliver so i don't know why people are taking chances on stuff they don't know if they're going to get when these guys come through you know i backed blacklist games for three hundred dollars and blacklist games ain't going to give me boo uh i don't think i'm not counting on it i don't i'd be shocked Anyway, thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Find all the collectibles of your dreams. Uh, Kickstarter, man. Uh, it's uh, Be careful. Do your own due diligence and, and just caveat mTOR because that you have no, no protection. These the Kickstarter cats, they do not care about you. They do not care about you. I don't know if you think they do. I, you probably don't. You probably realize it's a business and they don't even... They're not even hands-on. You're dealing with the... 
the content creator. So they're <laughs> they're like this uh, in the shadows kind of uh, silent partner who's taking you know their cut and running. But they got nothing for you. You got no protections. All this company has to do is say, well, now these guys have always delivered for me, but say another company, say, uh, that didn't deliver, like Saga World Builder, um, you know, they're only uh, required to just say, basically, that they're trying. <laughs> and they can carry that on for years and years and years. And there's companies that have uh, not delivered, and th those companies still exist. Uh, Blacklist Games is a great example. Uh, Blacklist Games did not deliver Fantasy Series 1, and they still exist. Um, uh, what was that? Soda Pop? Or Pop? Soda Pop Miniatures or something like that? Uh, the ones that make Super Dungeon Explorer. Let me check. They also did some other games. Here we go. So yeah, Soda Pop Miniatures. This company still exists. Now, this miniature, or this Kickstarter, is so many years overdue. It was supposed to deliver in 2016. But this is so overdue. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And that company still exists. Yeah, no, nothing's happened to them. All they have to do is show up every once in a while and say, we're trying, we're trying. Watch, we'll, we'll look here, see if there's an update. Let's look at their latest update here. Super Dungeon Legends update. I don't know how I got on this tangent. I gotta cut this off, but real quick here. 2021 was their last update. Many of you know it has been a hard few year, few years. Uh, best uh, beset by delays, finance issues, and interruptions. <laughs> we are hard set on combining all of our skills and resources. That's all they have to say. We are hard set. We are going to do it. You just sit with us and watch. Watch us fail. Watch us fail so hard. And you know what? The longer you wait, the more of your cash that you could have got a partial refund on, the more of it we'll spend on salaries. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, caveat emptor. Like, share, subscribe, all that jive. Take care.